So the deputy superintendent of Paw Paw for the St. James Montego Bay era, his name is Linroy Edwards. He sent out a very strong warning. Listen, you could not go at the bottom of the sea. You could not go at the top of the highest mountain. We are going to seek you, find you and eradicate you. So therefore, while you have a chance to spare your life, we suggest that you do the right thing or the wrong thing is going to do you. So take a listen, take a look to exactly what he has to say, and then I'll give my piece. We will be targeting every community where gangs are affiliated. Glen Devon area, Salt Spring, Green Pond, Rosite, Barney Street, Renville, Flankers, Tucker, anywhere they are. Just tell us we go and get them anytime, night or day. It's about time. They are Joseph Mackenzie. OC Joe from Flankers, Shane Morgan, OC OK, Upper King Street, Montego Bay, Rico Maxwell, OC Turner from German Town, Omar Romeo Dalji, OC McNice of Capital Montpelier, Shaquille Nathaniel Brown of William Street, Mobe, Kesson Bertrand, OC Cass, OC Trinity, OC Pablo of Anton District, Devon Reed, OC Man of 40, Ben Brown, Austin Reed, OC Akin. Burn Brown, Spring Mount, Stephanie Johnson, O.C. Steph, O.C. Sage, O.C. Baby Dan, O.C. Bowled. Now, people, you hear what the deputy superintendent of Paw Paw said? He called the volatile communities in which he is going to launch some sort of attack. So, therefore, if you know, say, your name a call up, if you know you're a person of interest or even was any sort of suspect in any sort of serious crime, you are going to be on that blacklist. You are going to be blacklisted from life. So, therefore, do something before something do you. He called a couple of names. Couple of those names are repeat offenders. Couple of those names have been getting all sorts of warning. But people, it seems as if it is those people's natural instincts to have some sorts of RDS syndrome. But like them say, who can hear them are going to feel point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news is based off a couple of videos that I saw. And it seems as if these little vagabonds that are supposed to be students, criminals in training, future inmates in our penal institution, they are back at it once again in a some sort of country bush bush era. Now people, sometimes I get video, I don't know exactly where it transpired, what is the name of the school, don't know the uniform, me is a town man, not a country man, not saying anything is wrong with coming from the country, but me just don't know the school. So anyways, it seems as if, what it don't seem, the fact is that two sets of girls were going at it, verbal, 99% physical, all sorts of coffins, all sorts of MMA, all sorts of KICK, down in a some sorts of precipice, some sorts of ditch, people tear up, people uniform, skirt, and they were going back and forth at it like two sets of PIT. B-U-L-L-S. Now you know the natural thing in a Jamaica whenever anything goes on like that. People don't try to separate. They are there for the hype. They are there for the entertainment purposes. Even though people are trying to take away each other's life. Now people, this is YouTube because of their policy which I will always adhere to. Some bloggers is going to put it up. That is not my MO, not my style. Who knows better, do better. When we see stuff like this, we notice there's an absence of security. We notice that there's an absence of teacher, dean of discipline, principal. Nobody no did it other than the student, them and people. You know exactly what happens when you make the inmates run the asylum. It is going to be pure madness. Now, based on what I see, the two main participants... One girl kind of big, you know, some school have some overgrown girl, call them leg before wicked, long, big and worthless, look like big bird with some sorts of not me. No, this to this girl, but me just I tell you what me see. It seems as if she and that other equal participant were going at it. Yes, 
She hold on pan some sorts of wire and she had the upper hand and she actually stamped the girl in her chest. She fell down in her some sorts of precipice. But it was obvious that Big, Bur Big Bird did not want any part of the action. So therefore she was walking away. The little other vagabond students were saying that it seems as if she is running and rightfully so. Even though the little girl, the other girl was little, but you know what them say? Them little about them talawa. And people, I am not justifying or any sorts of glorifying any sorts of action because two wrongs will never make a right. So the girl, after she gets the left foot and end up down at the precipice, down at the ditch, she came back and she was after Big Bird. But Big Bird friend then A-T-T-A-C-K-E-D her and then the two of them start upon her. I think that that girl made a very bad mistake. People, at the end of the day, this is sad. The moral of the story is this. When you come from some sort of dysfunctional family, you usually are dysfunctional, whether it is a school or any sort of safe place, any sort of church. These people obviously don't know how to act. And like them say, just like the mama and papa, just like the picnic boy or girl. And that is exactly what we see transpiring. Don't know what is going to be the outcome if anybody is going to get suspended. However, if this keeps up at the present rate, People are going to be D-E-A-D-I-N-G or badly hurt. Not to say nobody is badly hurt in this incident, but people may just have say it could get worse point blank and period. So the picture that you see on the screen or the pictures is of what we call Jamaican rum, fruit cake, black cake, mostly used in a Christmas. However, this cake can be eaten at any time for any sorts of occasion, including wedding, including birthday, you name it. You see the picture on the screen. This is the amount of fruits. So therefore, there is no sorts of cheap setting in the type of cake or the type of fruits that is put in this cake. The lady that is offering this cake, it is called Aunt Glenna's Premium Rum and Fruit Cake, Black Cake, them call it. The phone number that can be used to contact her is one eight seven six four five six zero seven seven three. Repeat phone number again one eight seven six four five six zero seven seven three. Only serious inquiries. This number can be used on WhatsApp. Sometimes she don't have any sorts of service. However, you can call her straight. So this part of the video is called Living Hope Die in Despair. Premature ejaculation or premature celebration is worse than premature ejaculation. Most importantly, a word that is called however. I am speaking about what I see going on in other courts as it pertains to the retrial of Vives Cartel and his co-defendants. And I am watching the stuff and I am seeing the tide. One time the tide seems as if it is washing towards Vice Cartel. The next time it seems as if it is going to the defense or to the prosecution. Sorry. However, people, and I say however because however is very important. A couple of the points of contention in which were raised by the defense lawyer in which the judge seems to have agreed is the constitutional rights of the defendants being breached. The prosecution said it themselves that they are going to be breached. The judge also called up our court two other cases, one in which a 14-year-old and a little girl was taken out by two elderly men. Those cases have been in the court when they were set for a retrial in excess of six years. So the judges are mostly concerned and curious as to why a case with Vice Cartel and his co-defendants would have precedent would be more important than cases two she quoted in which two victims young, innocent, no sorts of criminal history, criminal past, not none at all. In this case, lizards Question sign, gunman, crime producer. Vice cartel, which is deemed to be public enemy numero uno. So therefore, the judge want to know, the judges want to know, why is it 
the prosecution is placing so much emphasis, time, manpower and effort in this case. She also questioned the medical condition of Vice Cartel. We heard his lawyers saying that he has 50% of his heart working, meaning that it is working at 50%. Sorry. We also heard the judge questioning what is the availability of these witnesses. I am not going to start any sorts of trial and you come up and I give you any sorts of excuses. She also spoke about the financial burden. These persons have been locked up for in excess of about 11 to 13 years or so. Don't quote me. So the judge has questions. So we saw that Vice Cartel made some sorts of posts on his social media handle and him act as if he is confident that he is going to be released or released from bail. Hence, that's why I say premature celebration is worse than premature ejaculation. We've also heard his lawyer make some sorts of statement or comment and claim and act as if he is going to be free very, very soon when we saw that that smoking gun was like a whimper. Some sorts of fire, C-R-A-C-K-E-R. -E so I say this to say that somebody from the street with common sense and can foresee what is going to happen. These judges will boost you up, make you feel, talk about the points in which they feel as if you are violated all the while, they are going to rule that, however, he will go for retrial. However, he is not going to get any sorts of bail, in my opinion, point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called blind loyalty is worse than no sorts of loyalty at all. And I am speaking about some mix-up drama and pasa pasa that I see being played out on social media in a real life. As it pertains to spies and other accomplices. Now people, what we've realized is that social media is a very toxic place. And what we realize is that some of these master manipulators such as spies and others. Who have a fan base that is pretty much sheep. That is pretty much brain D-E-A-D -E that will pretty much facilitate any sorts of F-U-C-K-R-Y. And people, I am not saying that they are not persons who are constantly targeting spies. So she might have responded or used that song to respond to everybody. Pretty much use one stone and K-I-L-L -L, a million birds because this targeted a whole bunch of people. Everybody and their mother, anybody with any sorts of common sense, iota of sense would know who she was throwing words at. Because even though it was some sorts of subliminal, this song, people know it was kind of direct. It was clear as day. So I say this to say that Spice is not satisfied with being the queen of dancehall. She also wants to be the queen of drama, mix up and pasa pasa, publicity stunts. Because everybody know that she knows exactly what she is doing. She know the type of reaction that she's going to get. Because these people are easily drawn out. So therefore she knows that when she put out some sorts of song. It is going to get tongues wagging. It is going to get everybody talking. It is her form of clickbaiting. And I am not trying to say that Spice needs views. Or she needs attention. Or she needs relevance. But she knows how to keep that relevance. There was an artist you might have known about him. His name is Alkaline. He used the black eye tactics to trick them and boss. In the case of Spy, she knows how to keep relevant. Trick them over and over and they would not see it coming. It is as if she has some sorts of wool drawn over their eyes. She can fool them a million times and they would not care. So at the end of the day, Spice is no sorts of victim by any stretch of the imagination. She is the instigator. She is the aggressor. She is the initiator. And at worst or at best, she is an equal participant in all the drama, mix up and pasa pasa. So therefore, when you go and you stir up the ants nest and you stand up at night, or you box down the wasp nest and you sit down there and things of the wasp them now and go bite you. That is foolish thinking 
because people know who is going to do what from any sorts of reaction. So therefore, Spice is attaining her objective. That is what she set out to do. So therefore, people should not complain because the plot and the scheme is working to a T. Just like she anticipated, just like she planned, it is only the foolish amongst us that don't see exactly what is going on, that live in the state of denial. And what is even worse, with these people, you always hear them a quote, God always using the Lord's name in vain. And I talk about God bless them all the while, them a cuss, and I talk about all sorts of despicable things. Like me say, spice is hot. Spice knows how to remain hot. However, Spice uses a lot of negativity. Spice is a mother. Spice is an older lady. Spice should come to the point in her career where she should settle down, take her kids to the park, take care of her kids. And I am not saying that she's not taking care of her kids, but she should spend more time on positivity and leave out the negativity. But people in this social media era in which we live, negativity, S-E-X, sells. Nobody wants the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Likewise, pasa pasa, mix up. We live in a very toxic world and this is just an ex perfect example. And for those of you that don't recognize what is going on, that Spice is no sorts of victim at best and equal participant to the F-U-C-K-R-Y, it means that you must be blind as a bat or dunce as a bat or both. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself.